Hey, hello, Ryan and Heather and girls. Paul McLean here, Crestview RV, Buda, Texas. Thank you so much for your time the other day. Let's take a look at the first of two campers that we kind of landed on. This one is exactly a thousand pounds under your tow rating, so we're in that ballpark. I'd like you to go a little bit lighter, but you'll be fine with this. Um, this is the 265 BH Grand Design Transcend. We talked a little bit about the hard wall, which I'm a big fan of. R40 insulation on the roof, R9 on that hard wall, and it is a heated and closed underbelly. Uh, it does have enough solar to run your awning, radio, lights, and your refrigerator. It's a two door camper, which is kind of nice. You got screen doors on both, so you can get a good breeze going by. Uh, through the camper, all the big windows open up 50% in here, so when you don't need AC like a day like today, you can get a good breeze there. You can put a TV outside, watch a game outside if you like, under your awning. That awning goes out another six feet or so. Um, this is unique in that it has not only the pass-through storage up front. This, by the way, is a uh, port for a uh, spray hose that goes in there comes with it pops right in you can spray stuff out towards the back but it has this trunk here with a 110 outlet conveniently so a lot of extra storage in this one which I think would come in handy in your case fully walkable roof the ladder up to the same and it has the tankless water heater this interior you guys liked because of the room inside let's take a look at her this was the girl's favorite, by the way. So wraparound dinette that would make into a bed if you wanted it to. 110 outlet right there so you can plug in a laptop or do some work on the road. This jackknifes into a bed as well. Storage underneath that. Some storage drawers on the girl's steps up to their bed. And they get a separate little closet here. Each girl has their own window. And they have 110 and USB over here. So they can plug stuff in as well. New track lighting for 2024. On the roof here. And that's dimmable via this right here. You can kind of see maybe. And again, these windows open up 50%. Um, lots of counter space. We liked that. I don't know what's going on with my camera. Whoops. You don't want to see that. Um, lots of counter space, as I mentioned. Smart TV comes with it. All the cabinetry is solid hardwood as far as the doors go. The styles are wrapped wood, but all pocket screws, no staples, really well made. Large undermount metal sink, and you've got a nightlight here for the girls. Three burner range, this acts as a backsplash when you have it up. Small Furion microwave, and then storage instead of an oven on this one, which people were asking for, and Grand Design did. 10 or 8 cubic foot, even underneath the refrigerator, they give you a little storage deal there underneath the seating as well as you can see. 8 cubic foot storage, I mean a refrigerator, that again will run from your battery that is topped off via your solar. The bathroom features a porcelain toilet, not plastic, lots of room in here. You can change clothes, etc. The shower door here squeezes itself off, the same type that you use in Airstreams. Big shower, I think you stepped in that big enough. In your main bedroom is a queen bed, true queen bed, 60 inches by 80 inches, with storage underneath that bed. Closets on each side, place for a TV in the bedroom if you wanted to. And your second door there with the screen door. So that's the 265 BH 
Grand Design Transcend. This is your least expensive of the two and the girl's favorite, so that's good. <laughs> I'm going to uh, download this and then go take another video of the uh, fifth wheel we're considering as well. I'll text this to you but you'll, so you'll have my number, but it is 406-696-4750. 406-696-4750. Exit 220. You know where we're at. You were here. I think this would be a winner, winner chicken dinner for you. Let me know what you think of this one, and then I'll follow up with a second video. Let's go camping.